Landon has no idea we're coming, but he's honestly been wanting us to come visit all week. So I think he's going to be really excited. First of all, can we talk about how you're sitting in the front seat? Yes. It's so weird. How are you so old? I don't know. All right, where are we going? We're going to find the chapter in this right now. What did you say when you got in the car? I said, here we go. Let's do this board. Something I don't want to do and I do want to do. I said, I'm making my seizures go away, but I don't like it because it's not fun. I have cords all over my head. And the scary part is that I have to have surgery. So if it's in the correct spot, right, Mom? Or yeah, well, don't worry about that part yet. That, that's gonna come later, depending on what we find and what the doctors think and all that. Mm. So don't worry about that part yet. Well, there's, I just know that there's a possibility that, that, yeah. that will happen. There is. There's definitely a possibility of brain surgery. All right, getting a little tour of the hospital before we get to your room. Yep. Over here, the cafeteria. This hospital is massive. Yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. I don't think I've ever been on this side of it. I've been to the Riverton one, and it's a lot smaller. It's been a long time since we've worn a mask. Yeah, it really has. <laughs> okay, elevator, Spider-Man. Have you ever seen Superman before? Uh, yeah. Hello, a with a mask on. Oh, right here. I feel like we just got to our hotel room. Oh, oh crap, feels like that, except I'm having a seizure. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. We got them all packed up. Yep. All the essentials, yep. toothbrush, iPad, chargers, underwear, socks. <laughs> Mom, did you bring me clothes? Yes, I brought you clothes. All right, let's see which way we go here. Just follow the purple brick road. Let's just do this guy's wrong driver. <laughs> You're the driver? Follow the road, all the way down to drive my children. Oh, the road ended. Oh, is this it? Uh, I don't think so. Where are we? Oh. Wanna lift up the thing and say, can you let us in? Is anyone there? Oh, no one's there. No one's there? I'll try again after. Okay, try again. Hang up. What should I say? Just I'll do it. Here, I'll sit. Sam in room 2026. I'll wait for it to go to voicemail. Moments later. All right, Lando, is this your hair appointment? No. <laughs> Are you getting like and guess what, colors guys? in your hair today? Braids? No. I don't. I heard yeah. from the doctor. I heard from the nurses that a focal will do the job. They said like but yeah, they might not. A focal. They, at first, we thought we needed to do a focal and a grand mal, and now they're thinking that maybe just some focals and we'll be good. Because I would way rather have that. I know I've said this, but I would way rather have that than a seizure because the seizure actually sucks. A focal one does not because you're just sitting there and you get confused. So that's all. <laughs> the grand mal ones are a little bit yuckier, huh? The oh, grand mal sorry. ones require the ER most of the time. But... Well, thankfully we're already here, so that part's easier. <laughs> Actually, mom, did they just give me a medicine here or is that not their job? Yeah, that's exactly what they'll do. More than five minutes and you're getting medicine in that IV. Have I ever had a seizure for 10 minutes? You have. No. Look at how cool and colorful all those electrodes are. Hang on one second. I have not had a seizure for 10 minutes. Kind of looks like toothpaste. She said it's a little soap. It's exfoliant. <laughs> oh, it's like a spa treatment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Landon, look at this room service. You get to order room service whenever you want. What is this? Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Wow. All right, let's, let's check this out. You just hold still. You're doing a great job. You're looking good. You're wearing that really well. And I'll tell you what's on the menu. Oh, wow, Landon, we've got options here. We've got a lot of options. You're going to have a hard time deciding. You're never going to want to go home. Back to my cooking. Smoothies. Oh, my gosh, your brothers are going to be so jealous. Desserts, milkshakes, snacks. All right, Landon, and all the games. It's on this My Games and Apps. Oh, they got Madden, Land. Relax it. Yep, yep. Try to hold good. still, can ya? All right, Lando, we're all checked down. Feels like we're pretty settled. How do you feel? Hey, it doesn't actually seem pretty scary. I I'm literally just sitting here waiting for you to have a seat. <laughs> I feel like in some ways you're being treated like a king, right? Like I thought this was gonna be way scarier. Really? Way scarier. 
So he's got a nurse that will bring him anything whenever he wants it. He's, she, she brought him a Sprite. She brought him an Xbox. She's remote. the nicest person you could ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> and she found him a game he could download on the Xbox. He can basically download any game you want. It's on the Xbox. He can watch basketball games. He can watch any sporting game you want. He's got his own little remote. He can push this button right here. No, Mom, don't press it. I know, I won't. We only press it if we really need it, right? Yeah. That's the nurse's button. He's got his little room service menu right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be honest, like this is way better service than at home. It's kind of like you're a king. Look at this cool thing on his head though. I don't know if we'd call it cool. It's maybe not your favorite thing. He's all wrapped up. These are all the electrodes. This is what they call the EEG. We've done this twice before. Once in a hospital for like an hour or two. And? And once at home for a couple days. Once at home works, but once in the hospital didn't really work. Well, we didn't have any seizures on that one. Yeah. Yep. He's got a camera watching him right here. A camera watching him right there. Two cameras on him. And if he starts to have a seizure, we push this red button right there. And we're just waiting on dinner. Push Dinner's button, about to arrive. Button. Do you want to tell him what you order tonight? Yep. I order smothered burrito. Normally, I would say cheeseburger, because that's my go-to. <laughs> I don't want a cheeseburger. It's too early for a cheeseburger. But I ordered a smothered burrito. Fries. Yep. Breakfast. Apple juice. And apple juice. Chocolate chip cookie. Yep. You know what the nurse My said? mom, you know what, guys? My mom usually doesn't let me get this. <laughs> she doesn't, but today. Special occasion. Special occasions. You're yes. king for the week. Yes. And, I mean, we've got milkshakes, we've got smoothies, we've got all sorts of cool stuff in here. And the nurse said, if you don't like it, just order something else. But you can order off that thing all day long if you want to. That sounds like a dream to me. Yeah, it does. It really does. <laughs> so, I'm here. Dad's coming later. We're just hanging out. Yeah. All right, Lando. Mm -hmm. Smothered burrito. And fries. Fries. Cookie. Apple juice. Wow. Iron is served, baby. All right, y'all. I have made it up to Primary Children's Hospital, also known as University Children's Hospital. I've got my pillow. I've got my overnight bag over here. I'm ready to go. We're switching roles here. Lindsay was with him, checked him in today, and I'm in charge of coming up here and spending the night. So, gonna hang out there. I'm told that it's uh, quite the party. I'm told that uh, he's got unlimited Xbox and food and games and all sorts of stuff. So, <laughs> should be a blast. I think they're trying to keep him up, you know, sleep deprivation maybe a little bit by entertaining him. So that should uh, give us a chance to hopefully have a seizure sooner rather than later. It seems strange we're hoping for that, but that just needs to happen tonight. So, go to check in. Let's go see how he's doing. <laughs> this is great talking to grandma and jared what a setup we got here now nice haircut dude thanks even though my hair's not really cut it's just covered you got your nachos yeah you loving this aren't you i really am yes i really am yes i don't want to have a seizure tonight so i can stay longer <laughs> no your steady says i don't want to have one so i can stay longer <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are here. It is currently 11.30, no activity yet. Kind of told the nurse, I kind of don't think he'll have one until either he falls asleep or when he wakes up in the morning, like a little focal seizure. Anyway, he's kind of dozed off, but he's back awake now. Well, they come in every four hours to take his vitals. So the next time they come in will be midnight, which is like 30 minutes, and again at 4 a.m., so. Meantime, they said sleep deprivation might be what they'll order tomorrow night. So we're thinking, well, maybe we just try to do it tonight. We're just kind of like keep them up. Anyway, we'll see. I mean, it's already 11.30. He should have been in bed like four hours ago. So possibility tomorrow, they'll do some sleep deprivation, but we'll see. But I think in the meantime, I'm just gonna let it happen if it happens in terms of falling asleep. So you guys are awesome. See you tomorrow. Keep you updated. All right, you guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. We are back. We slept pretty well. Landon fell asleep at what? Midnight roughly, bud? Anyway, so we're up. It's actually closer to mid afternoon. I haven't turned the camera on just yet, but we went better on midnight, and then they come in every four hours to check his vitals. This is my bed for the evening here. It's comfy. Yeah, we woke up around, what, 6.30, 7, maybe. I went on a nice jog around Salt Lake City, Utah. That was fun. Planets had breakfast. The neurologist just came in, so no activity yet. He's pretty content over here. Uh, so nothing yet. They actually are gonna bring in a strobe light here in a minute, and they're gonna strobe his uh, eyes. So for those that are photosensitive, the lights or whatever, and things like that, don't watch this next segment, because we're gonna show you it. But they're coming in, and they're gonna do that. Probably do some breathing exercise, tire him out. I mean, honestly, he's playing the video games, you know, tiring his eyes, probably a good thing. So yeah, we wait. In the meantime, I'm working on my computer over here and Lindsay's fending the kids' schedules at the moment because they're super busy schedules and onward we go. All right, little 
little update here. No seizure, huh, Lando? I'm getting a little bored. He's getting a little bored. I'm getting a little bored too, actually. So we're watching some movie, some ninja movie, some Marvel. Some ninja guy. I'm what you might call a tangerine belt, a orange belt. You know, I'm, I'm one of them citrus colors. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I forget the name of it. Here's what it is, though. Anyway, you guys can help us figure it out. Bobby, I've been by your side for half your life. I don't know. Cool though, just cool little ninja fight scene on a bus. We just watched on Lando. So anyway, we continue on. <laughs> All right, guys. Honestly, there's just no update. Lando's watching Steven share oh, on his iPad right now. I'm sitting over here trying to keep my attention with something. There's no good shows on Netflix, Hulu, nothing. In fact, guys, help me out here if you would. Recommend a good show, please. So Lindsay and I can watch something, but I can watch something here in the hospital. Generally, the pattern goes, he has these focal seizures, and then that usually turns into some sort of like grandma seizure. He hasn't had any focals. So the other option is when he falls asleep, he has one. So at this point during the day, or at this point at night, he's not gonna have any focals. The only chance we have is some sort of like seizure as he falls asleep. If not, we're gonna be at back at it again sure. tomorrow. The day's not over, it is nine o'clock. It's not over. We're good. Oh, we're getting there. Thanks for hanging with us. All right, you guys, we're here at the hospital. Landon has no idea. Originally, Landon told us that what he was told is that you have to be 12 and older to be able to come visit. No, 16. 16 and then 12. I like, called today because I heard that like little kids could come for a short time. And they said, oh, siblings can come of any age. And I'm like, what? So it's actually pretty late because Turin had basketball, Ashton had basketball, and Ava had dance. It's this way, guys. Grabbed them some dinner and drove all the way up here. We live about an hour from this hospital. Landon has no idea we're coming, but he's honestly been wanting us to come visit all week, so I think he's gonna be really excited. Oh, hi. Your family's here, too. Yeah. So this is where all my wires are. So when he goes anywhere, he's got to take that backpack with him. Yeah. yeah. And you see, maybe you guys don't see, but you see how <laughs> these see. things are green. Mm -hmm. It means that the wires are in. If they're red, it means that they need to be fixed. The lights. The lights are green and red. Oh, I'm not going to take oh. it out. Yeah, don't take it off. Just but tell him. it's goo, and it's wires that... So they've glued all those wires to your head, right? Yep. And then show them how there's two cameras on you. Okay. This is one of the cameras. This is one of the cameras. They're in another room and they can see him and they're watching his brain activity. Now guys, watch this. Come over to the computer. Okay, we're coming. My brain is doing waves. So it can see Ashton in the camera. And it can see Ava. It's moving. Your brain's thinking. That is Yay. having a ton of fun with all of the fun things that they've been bringing to Landon. But I'm splitting this in half because I love this slime. This so special. Justin said that they bring him slime like multiple times a day, Play-Doh and slime. I know, and they didn't have any activators, so I just added them together. We got here, oh, Landon was playing video games with his new best friend. <laughs> There's a kid here that is here for the very same reason. They're doing some studies because he also has epilepsy. No, they're doing, he had surgery on his brain. They put like a little device in his brain. That's supposed to listen to his seizures. That's supposed to listen to his seizures. Like, this is basically what it's supposed he to do. So, it's basically supposed to, like, detect when a seizure's coming and, like, send a signal to the brain say, hey, a seizure's coming. You need to stop. That's so cool. And I don't know if they're going to do that to me, but that's what's in his brain right now. So, that's a possibility for you. And they cut open his whole head and put that device in. Was it kind of, was it kind of cool to meet somebody who, like, knows how it feels, been yeah, through what you've been through, has epilepsy like you? Yeah. Would you kind of like that? Yeah. So they were over here playing <laughs> video games together. <laughs> when they came, when my mom came. In. Yeah, he was in the middle of a video game. Yeah. And then earlier today, one of Justin's business partners came with his son and brought Landon these delicious donuts. How nice is that? Yeah. You know, you gotta have one. They're so good. Okay, the first night I came here, and I still feel like it. I said, I don't want to have a seizure. I would stay here every day, all day. If I could. You still feel that way? I. Do want to stay here? If I could come back, I would. <laughs> Ray, oh. He's King Landon. You know what Grandma said to me? She goes, "Who knew that all we needed to do was treat him like a king and wait on him hand and foot, and it would cure his epilepsy." <laughs> <laughs> I would really Ooh, I come love back if I wanted to. Yeah. Oh, that's how we get rid of it. I would just treat you like a king. We'll hire somebody to do that thing. This slime is really it. fun to play with. And you are loving that slime, aren't you? How are the roommates? Oh, like my nurses? Yeah. No, like you and Dad. 
Oh, pretty good. pretty clean. Now I actually have someone to play with. Do you guys like living in one room? Yeah, it's been pretty good. It hurts. Uh, he stays on his side, I stay on my side. <laughs> Who's messier? I'm, um, I would say probably you because you eat in bed. <laughs> hey guys, this kid that I'm friends with is a blossom. It's true, your buddy's 18, isn't he? Yeah, you guys are buddies. Yeah, you're the besties, huh? Someone just came over and said, Would you like to keep this afternoon? And I didn't even know what was kid. Like, sure. And that's like, You're going to be a new friend. And then he comes in and I was like, What's your name? And he says, Preston, I'm 18 years old. And I said, What did you? What's wrong? What happened? And he says, I had surgery on my head because I had um, surgery because I had seizures every day and now they kind of stop. Well, it's kind of cool because like yeah. normally at school you wouldn't meet somebody that has like the same condition as you. But when you're yeah. in a place like this, you get to meet people that kind of understand what it's like to go through what you do, huh? Yeah, that's cool, man. And they have ICU for kids. Yeah, they've got kids here for all sorts of reasons. Yeah. Cancer probably, right? Mom. Or would that be Huntsman? Uh, no, th so this floor is mostly uh, neurology. <clears throat> Neurological. Neurological, yeah. But then there's kids for tons of other stuff all over yeah. the hospital, right? Yeah. yeah. Things are getting fancy over here. Check out these accommodations. Did you say inmate? Inmate 117 here. Just <laughs> I don't know. This might be a little nicer. One step by step instructions on how to use an Xbox room. So the Y equals Y. So, well, some people may not know that. The Y equals Y. I have to teach him. <laughs> the left stick is the left stick. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that, buddy. Looks like you need a hairdo, probably a shower, too. I'm definitely gonna need a shower for you. All right, we're checking out. Wow. He's got all sorts of stuff in his hair. Ready to go home? Yep, I'm Yo. ready to go home, <laughs> even though my hair looks white right now. Goodbye, hospital room. Goodbye, Four Seasons. Goodbye, Ritz Carlton. All right, all right, all right. We are almost home, everybody. Guys, it has been a full week of Landon and I at the hospital just hanging out. You know, I was telling Landon, he's like, I don't want to go home. I mean, he kind of wants to go home, right? But I think it was just enjoyable to, you know, kind of just hang out and let some nurses come entertain you and entertain Landon, I mean, not me. You know, get free food anytime you want, 24 seven, video games all day. I mean, honestly, it sounds like an amazing time, right? Like a resort almost. It wasn't though, as much as, oh. This sounds like it. I mean, his head itched at all times. He couldn't get up and walk other than in the bathroom. And anyway, needless to say, we're grateful that it is over. We did not get the results that we wanted. Sadly, it's frustrating, but it's nobody's fault, right? There's nothing you can control. You can't just make a seizure happen every time. So unfortunately, he did not have a seizure, which means we were not able to capture anything on the EEG, which means we're probably going to have to do it again. But it's going to be a long time from now, probably. In the meantime, you know, he has been seizure free for a few months, which has been good. But yeah, I think we're just grateful to be home. We're finally pulling into the house here. Papa and Grandma Adams are here uh, because Lindsay and I are actually headed out to a very special trip with Opinion. I'm taking my entire company on a cruise. So we've got, you know, 30 something state rooms that we have purchased for all of my employees and their significant other, plus one, whatever it is. So it should be a good time. It's gonna be, you know, 60 of us or so on this ship and it should be, it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna go do that. It's it's kind of a, a, a reward to the employees for an amazing year. And so, yeah, they've earned this. We've earned it as a company. And so we're going to go have a, a great time together. It's just a short little cruise. So Lindsay and I leave tonight for that. But then we're back, you know, within the next, you know, four or five days or whatever. So short little cruise, but should be a ton of fun. So that's what's on the agenda today is get ready and go to California. Say hello to the grandparents, get packed up. But I think we're just grateful to be home. Are we, Lando? Yeah, we are. First item of business is we need to get that stuff out of your hair. Yep. Yeah? 